Hello friends, today we are going to discuss here about NEET PG 2022 MCQs. Okay, this is playlist. So all of the following may be associated with beta 2 agonist treatment except hyperkalemia, hyperglycemia, detrusor relaxation, relaxation of gut and bronchial muscles. So guys, uh, this beta 2 agonist causes hyperglycemia, yes. Detrusor relaxation due to the bronchodilatation and it shows effect on dilatation. That's why detrusor relaxation also responsible for dilatation and relaxation of detrusor muscles. And relaxation of gut and bronchial muscles, okay, due to relaxation, relaxation. And this causes hypokalemia not hypercalcemia so they are asking except so answer is hyperkalemia hyperkalemia beta 2 agonist increase potassium uptake into muscles and hence causes hypokalemia now which of the following are non selective uh, beta blocker with additional actions except carvedilol Betoxolol, Cartelol, Labetalol. So, all of the following are non selective beta blockers with additional actions except answer is Betoxolol. Betoxolol, it is a selective beta blocker with additional action. Selective beta blocker with additional action. Now, Following drugs may be used in erectile dysfunction except phenyl, aphrin, apo, morphine, alprostidyl, PGE1 analogs. So they are asking except not use in ED. So answer here is phenyl, aphrin. Okay. Now. Nasirated is a brain nitriuretic peptide analog. Endothelin R antagonist. Group 2B 3A antagonist. TNF alpha antagonist. So answer here is Nasirated is brain nitriuretic peptide analog N for N. Remember. Now drug having maximum propensity to cause peripheral neuropathy didanosine zidovudine stavudine lamivudine the drug which causes maximum peripheral neuropathy that is stavudine stavudine okay now Orange color of urine is due to which AKT? Anti-Koch treatment or anti-tubercular treatment ATT. Rifampicin, isoniazide, pyrazinamate, ethambutol. E for etham, E for I. So this is eye toxicity causes. And pyrazinamide causes gout-like symptom, uric acid and isoniazide causes pyridoxin deficiency, peripheral neuropathy and rifampicin use orange color of urine. Okay, orange color of urine. Now, all of the following are GP2B 3A antagonist except Apsiximab Clopidogrel, Tirofiban, Epitifibatid. So answer here is Clopidogrel is not a GP2B3A antagonist. Okay. Now, Finasteride is a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, PDE inhibitor, alpha-1A blocker, androgen receptor blocker so guys 
alpha 1 a blocker are sildosine alfosine such drugs tamsulosin and 5a alpha reductase inhibitor is finasteride used in bph prostatic benign hyperplasia okay uh, the action of this drug starts after three months which is responsible for shrink the size of bph okay now true statement about clonidine are all except increased parasympathetic outflow decreased sympathetic outflow by blocking central alpha receptor so if decreases sympathetic outflow means increase in parasympathetic outflow used in hypertension okay used in hypertension prazosin is used to antagonize side effect of clonidine so guys this is the false statement they are asking this okay so prazosin used to antagonize side effect of clonidine this is false statement now all of the following anti epileptic agents act via sodium channel except vigabatrin phenytoin valproate lamotrigine vigabatrin phenytoin valproate lamotrigine except answer is vigabatrin why because vigabatrin is a anti epileptic drug that inhibits catabolism of gamma amino butyric acid by irreversibly inhibiting gaba transaminase which of the following not a anti epileptic agent phenytoin topiramate flunarizine carbamazepine so which one is not an anti epileptic agent so answer is flunarizine is not a anti epileptic flunarizine is a selective calcium entry blocker with calmodulin binding properties and histamine h1 blocking activity now all are true about octreotide are all except is active orally suppress growth hormone secretion useful for varicial bleeding useful in secretory diarrhea so octreotide given subcutaneously not orally first thing yes so rest all other are correct statement they are asking except so active orally is answer octreotide is given im iv and subcutaneous but not orally okay all are short and rapid acting insulins except lispro aspart glargine glulecine so answer here is glargine why glargine because this is a long acting insulin okay now rapid acting insulins lispro aspart glulecine short acting insulin regular insulin intermediate acting insulin nph long acting insulin glargine determer okay all of the following have a receptors which are transcription factors except insulin estrogen glucocorticoids vitamin d so which one is not having transcription factor so answer here is insulin why because insulin is a enzyme okay insulin receptors are enzymes not transcription factors okay which of the following is beneficial in nsaids induced gastric ulcer pge1 agonist pge2 agonist pgd agonist pgf2 agonist so answer is pge1 agonist mesoprostol okay pg even agonist which of the following is a leukotriene antagonist montelukast 
zeluton omalizumab nidochromil so guys omalizumab is a mass ige inhibitor omalizumab is a ige inhibitor nidochromil these are mast cell inhibitor and monte lucast and jaffre lucast is a leukotriene antagonist okay monte and jaffre lucast are leukotriene antagonist all the fo the following drugs are used in obesity except orlistat sibutramine olestra neuropeptide gamma agonist so answer here is neuropeptide gamma agonist let discuss why older anti obesity drug act by inhibiting nor adrenaline or serotonin reuptake newer ones have various mechanism older generation agents nor adrenergic agents influence appetite center pentamin mesindol and serotonergic agents influence satiety center fenfluramine dexenfluramine nor adrenergic serotonergic agents combined action sibutramine newer agents early stat inhibit gastric and pancreatic lipase digestion and absorption of triglyceride is impaired olestra sucrose polyester which can replace fat as a cooking medium leptin analogs neuropeptide gamma antagonist beta 3 adrenergic agonist so guys thank you for watching this video good day goodbye and guys if you want to uh, take subscription of uh, 5 uh, 150 high yield topics most welcome and fee for that 150 high yield topic is 5000 rupees that is non refundable thank you good day goodbye